In this video, I'm going to show you one way to reduce your noise floor to an acceptable level using Audacity. Look at the screen that I've got open. By the way, I'm on a Mac and I'm in Audacity version 3.1.3 at the present time. And I've got a small file here that I just recorded a few minutes ago using the internal mic on my laptop. I would never do that for ACX. I would never record in this room for ACX. I'm just doing this for illustration purposes. I wanted a noise floor that would fail ACX check so that I can show you one way to fix it. So while I've got this whole track selected, I'm going to come up here to the Analyze drop-down menu and I'm going to run ACX check knowing it's going to fail. And so all three points in ACX check fail, as expected. The peak level is too low, the RMS level is too low, and the noise floor is too noisy because I recorded, again, in my internal mic in this crazy little room right here. And again, I would never do that if I was doing an audiobook. But let's see what we can do with this. I'm just going to click OK here. And first of all, let's come up and let's set that RMS level a little bit, a little bit uh, within parameters. If I go to loudness normalization and I have RMS selected and I'm at a minus 20, which is the setting I like, remember it needs to be between minus 18 and a minus 23. I like minus 20 just because it's an even number. So if I click OK, it's going to set the RMS level there. Now if I run ACX check, we're going to find out that the RMS level passes, but the other two parameters fail. So I run, I run ACX check, RMS level passed right there in the middle. My peak is too high. I went from too low to too high of a peak. Remember that my peak levels in my audio can't exceed 3 dB for ACX. And I am too hot here, too loud. And the noise floor, again, is a minus 52.71, which is too loud for ACX. For ACX, it has to be below a minus 60. So I'm going to hit OK here. Actually, I'm going to click it. I'm not going to hit it. I'm going to click OK right there. And now let's put a limiter on it. And I've got the limiter set for a minus 3.5. Give me a little bit of playroom there instead of just a minus 3. So I'm going to click OK. And just like that, I've got my peak level set. Now if I go back up to Analyze and I run ACX Check again, we can see that now we're passing the peak level. We're passing RMS level, but our noise floor is still way too noisy. So let me show you how to fix that. First of all, take a mental note of where that noise floor is. It's, a, it's at a negative 52.71. We need to get it below a minus 60. And so we can use noise reduction at this point, not silence. We don't want silence in our audio, but we can use noise reduction at this point to get that level down below a minus 60 dB without going so low that it fails again. So we're at a 52.71. If we come up here, again, I've got the entire track selected. I want to just select a small portion of the audio. I've got a little bit of room tone here at the front. It doesn't matter what I've selected at this point. I just want to illustrate this for you. Now if I come up to the effect drop down window and I go to noise reduction, at this point, before I do anything else, in this window right here, I can type in the amount of dB I want the noise floor to drop. I've got 12 dB typed in here and that's pretty much what I want it to drop to. I don't want complete silence. I don't want to put 50 dB in here because then, you know, we're going to be complete silence. So with that 12 dB, I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and click once on Get Noise Profile. And just like that, it got the noise profile based on that small selection that I have. Now, here's something a lot of people don't know about Audacity. In order to apply noise reduction, we have to select the entire track or this, the portion of the track that we want to put noise reduction on. But you don't have to go back up to the effect window and drop that thing down again and apply it that way. Once you've got the noise profile, all you have to do is on a Mac, once you've got the track selected, hit Command R. If you're on Windows, it's Control R. You're repeating the last function. So you don't have to go back up and open up that noise reduction window again. That's a lot of mouse clicks. At this point, since I've got the track selected, I can simply do Command R to repeat that. And just like that, it applied 12 dB of noise reduction on my file. And so let's go back up now with the file selected and let's go to our analyze window one more time and let's run ACX check on it again. And now just like that, my noise floor is on minus 64.61 dB and it passes. You can use noise reduction that way in Audacity to get your noise floor down. 
When we talk about noise floor, we're talking about the amount of noise that each device in your audio chain generates with no signal present. So you've got a microphone generating noise. If you've got an audio interface, it's generating noise. Your computer's generating noise. The ambiance in the room is generating noise. All of that contributes to the noise floor. And sometimes that's hard to get rid of. That's hard to get out. This is one way to do that. But there are no shortcuts for good recorded audio. That initial audio that you record, the better you can get it, the easier it's going to be on you, and the better it's going to sound to the listener. So always keep that in mind. You want to be in an echo-free room. If possible, something like a walk-in closet if you don't have anything else. A sound booth is ideal. A really good microphone, like a condenser microphone, is a real good idea because it's going to add a lot of clarity to your recording. The downside is it's going to pick up everything in the room. So you want to make sure that that initial recording is the best that it can be because that's going to save you a lot of work in the long run. So I hope this video helped you. I hope that you found some value in it. And until next time, y'all take care.